Hello, this is a demonstration using shrink plastic and the bezel bead mold, this little pink mold here. Um, what you get in the bezel bead mold kit is the mold, three parts, the pin, the base, and then the little plunger. Um, you also get some pre-cut shapes, several pre-cut shapes of the shrink plastic with the hole in the middle. And um, you will also get instructions, obviously, of how to use it. But you will also get a template um, of these shapes so that you can then make more um, shapes of your own or make any shape at all and still use with the bezel bead mold. Now, um, this is the jewellery that I've made um, using the bezel bead mold. Um, it is very diverse. Um, you can use it for many different, many different designs. Now, what I'm going to do now is um, I've got one of my shapes, this gorgeous little floral shape here. And I'm just going to take, um, I've got three crayons here. I've got blue, red, and purple. So all I'm going to do is I'm going to very... Uh, lightly, just do a little bit of shading on the edges of those petals using um, crayons. Um, just very, very gently. You might not even be able to see it particularly um, until you actually shrink it, because the thing about shrinking the plastic is it will get a lot deeper. Um, so when you're colouring, just err on the side of caution. So just put a little blue edge there. I'm just now going to sort of put some violet -y in the centre, just very, very um, roughly using the pencil on the side. And then I'm going to put a tiny little bit of sort of red on each petal. And, and then I'm going to take a, a little pen, a little uh, marker, and then on just on the edges, I'm just going to highlight those edges just on the inside of the shapes. Now what you'll notice when the um, shrink plastic has shrunk is that all of this colouring and these lines will actually delineate a lot more. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to take a heat gun. I've got my heat mat here ready and I've got my stabiliser here ready to stabilise the, um, the shrink plastic. Now I'm going to turn on my heat gun onto a high speed. But first of all, I'm going to pop my mold in front of me and I'm going to pop the mold itself has this pin inside. Now that pin will make sure that you will have a hole in the shrink plastic in which to set it into jewelry. If you don't want a hole in your shrink plastic, then just remove that pin. But I'm just gonna place that on top of the mold have the doming part ready and then I'm going to turn my heat gun on to a high speed and then basically just start to heat. So you'll see shortly it starts to crinkle and shrink. Just keep it there and let the shrink plastic, once the shrink plastic has shrunk completely, it cannot shrink anymore, so you can't over shrink. Now, as soon as that has flattened out, I turn off my heat gun, and then immediately I will take the mould. You see this doming part of the mould here? There's a hole there. I pop that onto that pin and then just put some pressure on there, push it down and remove. And then when I remove that, shake it out, we've got a little doming in the centre. If you feel that that doming is a little bit too much or you haven't domed it enough, then just pop your little uh, design back into the mould, reheat, and mold again. Now here are a few examples of what you can make with this beautiful bezel doming mold. 
Um, you can create a lot of different um, shapes um, using the mould and you can also really, if you just play around with the mould and see that those earrings there, we've got those sort of little uh, upside down tulips as it were, that's this mould as well.